Hi Leo, welcome to your May Singles Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we're looking at singles. Do keep in mind that singles is open to anything here. So I'm going to keep it open. Whatever comes out, comes out. It could be past, present, or future. Please do keep that in mind. So if something shows up here you're not interested in, it simply is not your reading, but hopefully it will be. All right. If you are interested in new love only, that is already on the channel and I'll be doing new love in a few weeks. All right. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. All right, Leo, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, Leo singles, let's see what's going on for May. The fledgling one, a new beginning. Hmm, this could be a new romance coming in for you, Leo. New experience. Oh, complicated. Hmm. All right, we have, I believe that is 11. So we got three ones here. So 11 is um, life path, soul path energy. Ones are about new beginnings. The warrior, we have two, one, two. All right, and... 43 understanding which is seven seven is a divinely guided spiritual energy but sometimes sevens can be a little challenging because it seems like nothing's happening but the universe is working on blessings and doing its magic requiring you to be still and it's just very frustrating so that's my take on sevens so i feel like here um leo it's like a new connection but there's something something complicated about it, but you're not giving up on it. It's like you have a deep understanding of maybe the situation. So maybe there's somebody new in your life and you feel this connection or you have this connection, but there's some sort of complicated situation going on. But it's like both having a full understanding of whatever process needs to take place. But actually, there's an energy of being a warrior of like not giving up and like fighting tooth and nail and not giving up no matter what it's kind of what i feel here hmm interesting well let's see what that means all right leo well, let's see all right leo everything you need to know is down below your playlist is down there as well as the list of readings i do here if you are new i do eight love readings a month you can check that list below see if you like what i do and if you like general readings my other channel is below as well i do two generals per month her sign and you can check that out if you would like to all right leo what does all this mean so i'm gonna kind of look at your energy right now and see first line is going to be your energy and then if i need to clarify that more i will and then i'll see um energy around you what's coming in we'll dig deeper into that see what the en energies are going forward what you need to know all right let's see empress oh so you're feeling like the divine feminine here leo or you could be a male and be divine feminine, whatever here, but you're definitely in your power. You could be birthing something new in your life right now as well. Some of you actually may be expecting or you're just birthing some sort of new energy um, in your life. Judgment. Making big decisions here, I feel. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Three of Wands in Reverse. And the Queen of Coins, very stable, grounded energy here. I'm almost feeling like Leo, um, I don't feel like the Seven of Swords is like lying, cheating, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes that can be strategy. Um, because usually, um, like the Rider Waite, you see the person taking like only a few swords, leaving a few swords behind because they're strategizing some sort of power play that they're making. Um, you know, they're a little sneaky about it, but there's also strategy behind it. So it's not always bad especially i feel like something's happening like right now because the three wands in reverse for me is like my ship's in it's here it's right now so there's something happening for you right now it's like you've made your decision this judgment call about birthing something new in your life like right now it could be something around business money your career because we do have the queen of pentacles here but I also feel like there's some strategy around this as well. It could be that whatever is going on with this new experience, this new person, 
maybe there's like a waiting period for some reason and you're like okay well this person is doing that or whatever I'm going to concentrate on me and um, do what I need to do in my life right now so focusing on what you're creating what you're doing your job your work your money that's kind of what I feel here but I do feel a very enlightened energy here because the third eye is uh, lit up there so there's de definitely a very enlightened understanding energy about a situation so it could be their situation as well um, now the judgment here can be like a final judgment call final decision so maybe somebody is divorcing you know once was their empress maybe not any longer it could be that as well but I think I'm going to dig a little more deeper into this Knight of Coins. So kind of knowing something's going to be a slow process here as well. May not be too happy about it. Maybe a little heartbroken here. But you know that this uh, start is coming. This fresh start, the fresh clean slate. I feel like it's like a waiting period here. So it's like disappointing. No, it's going to happen. But it's very disappointing right now. Not really happy about it. And it's a slow moving process here as well. But there's a restart coming here with the full. So we do have Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Huh. All right. So let's see, Leo. What what is this? What else do we need to know about this? I feel like I need to know more. I need to know more. What is this waiting process? What I want to ask. What what is this about? What do we need to know about that something's complicated that's why there's a waiting process here let's see yeah waiting and wondering four of cups <laughs> okay for the wheel to turn here to fate to kick in for things to start gearing into motion i'm seeing like gears being like starting to move clicking getting into motion magician in reverse to kind of kick start this magician upright to start the manifestation for this to start manifesting so it's once the wheel clicks <laughs> like turning on the engine you know then you manifest your de destination it's like what i'm saying here <laughs> page of swords so i feel like there's no communication right now between you and somebody eight of cups somebody could be at a distance here or maybe you're just keeping your distance until maybe you hear communication from somebody. So maybe this is a situation where, okay, you know, you both have an understanding. Someone's going to work out their issues. So while they're doing that, you're concentrating on yourself, doing what you need to do in your life, still living your life, creating those things in your life, doing whatever you need to do. And tells some sort of, um, I'm, I'm almost feeling like I want to read it this way because the communication starts the manifestation. Everything starts clicking into motion with this Wheel of Fortune. I feel like it's close because I see this Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups is like just right there. And once this Ace of Cups is like is what's going to start this wheel in motion. And for things to start manifesting, the communication to come in. There's definitely distance here. So we have uh, Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius. Hmm, interesting. High Priestess in reverse. So I feel like there's a lot of things that are going to be, um, a lot of secrets coming out. Not bad secrets, but maybe you don't know the whole situation, the world. So things are closing out. A new cycle is about to begin. In the sun, there you are. Leo, happiest outcome. So you know there's going to be a happy outcome here and all will be revealed here. The new cycle is going to start and then you're going to be very happy here with the sun. So we have Leo showing up, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody's letting go of a heavy burden. So it could be the other person. And then there's the big tower. Everything comes crumbling down. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment, sun shock, change, revelation, surprise. It's like, surprise, here I am. Let's reunite. Let's court date, get to know, whatever the case may be. Hmm. All right. So what else do we need to know here? Let's look at this person coming in. This person could really uh, be a warrior too, like really fighting through something. Or maybe it's you, but I definitely sense this energy of, okay, we have an understanding. I got to go do this. You do what you do. 
but we're still going to fight to be together in the end. So it's definitely a complicated situation, but there's an understanding of it. And it's definitely something new because we have the fl fledgling there. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. What do we need to know? Uh, what is the wheel bringing in? What is the wheel bringing in for Leo? Nine of Wands in reverse. I mean, struggle's almost over. Nine of Coins. Somebody single? Both single? They're single? You're single? And then the lovers can come together. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. King of Wands. That's your energy, Leo. So you're definitely... Okay, let me get one more. And the Sun. Happiest card in the deck. So soon you're going to be very happy so again i feel like you don't like the current situation where you can't be together you know and the king wants it sometimes maybe you don't feel at your best you don't feel like yourself you don't feel like like not really happy about the situation because you know you're meant to be together and you don't like this process you don't but you know you have an understanding it has to happen this way but I feel with the King of Wands here, the sun would trump it, so trump over it. So definitely you're gonna be happy here either way. I mean, you got the lovers right here. Struggle's almost over. Somebody's gonna be single. Then we have the soulmate connection coming together here. So where you're feeling like, oh my God, I just can't anymore. I, I don't like this energy. But then you have the happiness of the sun showing up. So at Gemini Leo, Leo. <laughs> And there's a return here with the Six of Cups. Somebody, again, could have children. You know, you're a little stressed out from time to time, maybe because you're not hearing anything. So, you know, you're kind of stressing out, like, oh my gosh, taking a long time here. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting forever. So we have uh, Sad showing up here with the Page of Wands. But, again, cycles are closing out and new cycles are getting ready to start here as well king of cups so there is some sort of a love connection here as well somebody's going to reveal their love and emotions here with the high priestess in reverse and the king of cups two cards of pisces and then we got leo christopher scorpio oh what's this yeah so where you feel the separation then we got someone coming in here success victory balance positive movement forward Maybe coming to see you with cherry energy. That's cancer. Hmm. Could be something around cancer season, which really isn't that far off. That's, um, let's see, that is May into June. So, I mean, it's like a month away. All right, so let's see. Leo. Leo. What is the lovers in the sun bringing in for Leo? What is the lovers in the sun bringing in for Leo single? Five of coins. The hangman. See, there's that stuck longing. I'm getting like a longing, disappointed energy, stuck energy, feeling like nothing's happening. Four of coins. Maybe you're starting to feel like, are they just resisting? Are they going to hold back? They're going to have second thoughts. And then you have the ten of cups. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every way. Page of wands. But you're not going to feel that until you get that communication, the good news. With the page ones but it's in reverse right now which means you haven't received it yet so this lovers in the sun is bringing in the ten of cups but until you get the word until you get communication you're not going to real really feel uh at ease or uh, relieved until that happens two very loyal energies here as well ten of swords yeah it's not over between the two of you and then three of cups could be courting, dating, getting to know. You've been waiting for this. Reuniting. Here's a sort of truth with the ace of swords. Clear communication. Cutting away was no longer serving. Successful in the beginning. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment as well. Hermit. Someone's getting ready to come out of hiding. Hermit in reverse with that chariot. So if that isn't someone coming forward, I don't know. So we have Virgo Cancer as well. All right. Let's look more at this Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups for Leo. For Leo. Now, it's not really telling me like how you know this person. Um, every case is different, so it's just based on the situation here. So, I mean, 
take it how it resonates. All right, let's see. What is, no more about this Ten of Cups here for Leo. Devil in reverse, which is good. Someone's letting go of a toxic situation. Three of Swords, but there's still that feeling of disappointing. Disappointment, again, somebody, you know, if they had to let go of a karmic situation, which I see that, it's still, you know, a hard thing to get through. Even if the love is gone, it's still a big part of one's life that we have to move on from. Two of Wands, there's the new path. Opening up here. And there's the soulmates coming together with temperance. And the Ten of Wands. But burdens have to be let go first. And there is the ending. So the ending is going to happen. Somebody had to let go of a very, probably huge part of their life. Um... The path will open and the soulmates can come together here with the temperance. Divine alchemy, you know, divine timing, patience, healing, balance, um, past life, peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. It's all that energy here, soulmate energy. So we do have Capricorn, Sag. We do have a two here and a three. So two, three weeks. And the eight of wands. There comes communication. Page of Cups. I don't think there's ever been like any kind of um, romantic or love communication from them. I don't know how to say that, but you know what I mean. But soon your sound, sadness will be over. And then here's building, growing, expanding as well. King of Swords, someone coming in here to speak their truth. Very clear, blunt, direct to the point. Clear cut communication. Speaking up, someone could be divorced again. Endings too. Endings and new beginnings, transformation as well. So Leo. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. Leo, Leo, Leo. Again, Leo, everything you need is below. If you do like this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Anything you can do to support readers, spiritual, uh, spiritual community. We're kind of being blacklisted here on this platform. So we're not getting pushed out. We're all suffering. So even a like, even if it doesn't resonate, can help us all out. It's greatly appreciated. The messages are for someone. And I always do that. All my favorite readers, I like it whether it resonates or not because I know it's for someone. And I appreciate it. And I'm sure we all appreciate it. All right. Leo. So let's see what else you need to know. Ancestor spirits. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Yeah, somebody has to heal like a family situation. That is for sure. You definitely could have had past lives together. Not that you were related. I know ancestors, but with that, I can get like I'm getting like maybe past life energy or something like that. Trusting heaven, you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Yeah. So the more you concentrate on yourself, do you? Don't get too caught up on when and where, how it's going to happen, but it will. Just trusting. Psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Some of you could be very, very intuitive. Also could have a spiritual connection with this person. You may psychically know when it's about to happen as well. Heart awakening. Awaken to the acceptance in divine love. Give and receive in balance. Yeah, and that's the temperance right there. So this is a very healing, balanced, um, heart awakening. Heart awakening. Love coming in as well. Divine order. It's kind of like justice. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. But is all as it should be. Divine order has to all work out this way. And I, I think it's good there's an understanding here. But it's about not giving up either. And focusing on yourself right now. Well, I feel like they're sorting their stuff out. But I definitely see like communication and the wheel's going to start turning. And it could be you know, two to three weeks, maybe two to three months, maybe even for some two to three days. So it could be different for everyone. And, you know, spirit, the universe doesn't like timing. So I know sometimes people say, you say that every month. The, <laughs> the universe could say, yeah, two to three weeks, days, whatever. And, but they don't know time. So they don't know. But anyway, that's kind of my take on that. But anyway, Leo, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need is below. I am wishing you the best. And I hope to see you next time.